Welcome to Fantastic. We have a beautiful, brand new Willy Wonka game. It helps if I do this. It was great. Getting to hang out with the cast of the movie, me and Tresh playing on the new machine. We're gonna get to go inside the special VIP lounge. They have a really cool game in there. Something I've been wanting to play for many, many years. Anyone who follows me on Instagram will know I am a huge fan of arcade games, especially pinball. I was scrolling through Facebook not too long ago and I came across an ad for a pinball convention and I was like, I have to go to that. So today, we were in Sturbridge, Massachusetts for Pintastic New England. They have hundreds of pinball machines and they're all free to play. They also have a vendor area and I'm pretty sure they have a flea market where anyone can sell stuff. Anyways, without any further ado, let's go inside the convention center and play some pinball. Here's a map of the entire expo. I think we're gonna start off over here in the vendor hall and then make our way into the free play area later on. Over at the box office area, they have some Pintastic official t-shirts right here. These are some awesome designs. Also in the back, if you can see on the wall right there, they have some posters for sale as well. Inside the vendor hall, they have all kinds of pinball machine parts for sale. I'm actually looking for some new rubbers, so hopefully I'll be able to find them inside here. And just as we enter, I'm already overwhelmed. There is so much to look at, starting right here with Metallica and Twilight Zone. Look at those pinball toppers. They're like projections. I've never seen anything like that on a pinball topper before. That is some, uh, some next level stuff right there. Oh, this is gonna be a cool one. It's gonna say Flynn's Arcade. I don't know how well it shows up on the camera. Oh, it doesn't look, it, it doesn't show up too well, but in person, man, these pinball toppers are super impressive. They don't go with the machines that they're on. This is just for display purposes, obviously. But you can load like 50 images on these and choose between which image you want to appear. It's kind of like those old fans they used to be able to write a message on. It's the same kind of technology. Oh, here's it, here it goes. The Twilight Zone to go with the pinball machine. Again, it doesn't show up super good on camera, but you definitely gotta check these out here. If you wanna check them out, Head to the website right there. I'll, I'll bring it in closer so you can actually see. But definitely check out these pinball toppers, they're awesome. Right off the bat, I am geeking out over a game. I've always dreamed of playing the Tron Legacy pinball machine. I'm a huge Tron fan and I've always wanted to play the Tron pinball machine and there it is right in front of my eyes. Tron has to be one of those beautiful games I've ever seen, man. It's the lights, the light cycles, you got the arcade, you got all kinds of cool toys inside here and the game is actually pretty fun itself. You basically have to collect all the characters from the movie and then you head into the portal, just like at the end of Tron Legacy. Spoilers, but I mean the movie's been out since 2011 so I hope you've seen Tron Legacy by now, but that's basically what you do. You kind of play through the movie. And right next to Tron is another machine I've been looking forward to seeing. The Aerosmith Pinball Machine. One of my favorite bands. And this game looks pretty fun. I've never seen pinball play fields actually out of the machine. So it's kind of cool seeing them without all the ramps and all the flippers and everything on them. Here's Pirates of the Caribbean, the New Jersey Jack model. The Twilight Zone right here, Elvira. Some great pinball right here. Now these are what I need in my arcade at home. There's some seats, some chairs, some stools with pinball graphics. You got Black Knight right here. You got all kinds of great machines. I see, I see Attack from Mars tucked away over there and a Williams one right there. I definitely need some of these in my house. Jersey Jack is kind of the highlight of Pentastic this year because they are just releasing their Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory machine. So to promote the new Willy Wonka pinball machine, they actually have the cast of the original Willy Wonka movie. They're supposed to be over here signing autographs. It looks like they're probably taking a break right now, but they're supposed to be over here signing autographs. We'll come back here later and see if we can get a peek at the cast. Just behind the Jersey Jack slash Willy Wonka booth is the tournament play area. It looks pretty packed in here right now, so we'll take a quick walk through. I don't want to interrupt anyone's game. We can't get too close to the tournament games, but you can get a pretty good idea of just how popular and intense this pinball tournament is. This is a new machine featured out here at Fantastic today. The Oktoberfest machine. A lot of cool shots on this one. A lot of ramps. Look at the amount of ramps and all these loops. If you don't know by now, I'm a huge Game of Thrones fan. I love seeing the amount of pinballs that are themed to like TV shows and movies and like different bands and Game of Thrones is no exception. This one has like a Night's Watch Beyond the Wall kind of 
theme going on here. You got Jon Snow, Sam Charlie, the Night King, Tormund. You got all the characters from Beyond the Wall. And the features on here are pretty cool as well. I've seen a few versions of the Game of Thrones pinball machine, but I've never seen this one before with the castle and the dragon. You got the Iron Throne tucked away in the back right there. I can point and touch stuff because Treshy is playing this machine. So I feel like I can kind of really get in there and show you all the stuff. This is an interesting machine, Lexi Lightspeed. The cool thing about this is the entire play field is like an LCD monitor. That really uh, that really helps out. You don't have to do a lot of play field maintenance on this thing. Look at it, it's got cutscenes. This is insane. Besides, the locals are probably. Okay, how do oh we gotta press there's a button to launch the ball here. Wow, trash. Drain the ball. I'm embarrassing myself. I will say, that thing looks and feels way different from a normal pinball machine, but it is a lot of fun. It's a totally different experience. And if you ever have a chance to play a game like this, highly recommend it. Okay, so now we're going to start the game of rocks. And the uh, first thing we do is get all the walls and scoops up, alright? Oh so my we're gonna gosh. We're going to hit the rocks, <laughs> and they're going to blow up. So we just got past the, the first plane, now, now we got to get out of here. What? By leaving any of the uh, things. So now we're on wave two. And they're going to try and attack my flippers. But, this you know, is it's, insane. It starts off easy, of course, but it gets harder. This machine actually belongs to my good buddy, Alan from Aardvark Pinball. If you live in the Boston area and need your pinball machine fixed, make sure to look up Aardvark Pinball to contact Alan. You know in like Disneyland, and like Star Wars land, they have like build your own droid or build your own lightsaber. Well, here, they pretty much have build your own pinball. These are all spare pinball machine parts, and this is what I came for. I need a couple parts for my pinball machine at home. I got my bag of rubbers in a discreet brown paper bag. So I think we're all set here in the vendor hall. Let's move on to the rest of the convention. Since we're on the theme of buying things, let's head to the outdoor flea market. I don't know how much stuff is outside, but you know what? I'm sure we'll find something cool out there. Not a lot of flea market action going on. I don't want to be too awkward. I'm going to stick a camera in these people's face, so I'll probably just sum it up after we head out unless I find something super cool. Yeah, just like I thought, nothing nothing too exciting in the uh, flea market area. So we're gonna make our way back inside. We're gonna go check out the free play area, which is like the main highlight. And we also have access to the VIP rooms with our special badge, so we'll probably head in there in just a little bit. Just through this doorway is the entrance to the free play area. It's extremely loud in here, so I hope you can hear me. I hope my voice is not drowned out by the sound of all of these pinball machines. This, I, I, I'm, I'm blown away right now. I've never seen so many pinball machines in one place. Hopefully I'm not screaming and blowing out your eardrums, but let's walk around and check out some machines. This place is absolutely insane. I don't even know where to start. There are so many pinball machines in this room. And like I said, I hope I'm not screaming and blowing out your eardrums. Note for next year, wear a lapel mic because I feel like I'm screaming into the camera. Hopefully you can hear me. Again, I, I don't know how the audio sounds right now, but hopefully, hopefully you can hear me. Anyways, let's walk around and find some cool games. Maybe we'll even play a few. I think just about everybody knows I'm a huge Pirates of the Caribbean fan. I actually just bought a miniature version of a Pirates of the Caribbean pinball machine, but this is the real, original, full-size machine. You have the Flying Dutchman back here, as well as Davy Jones' chest from the second Pirates movie. This is a classic game right here, Attack from Mars. This is actually the remake edition. I have very fond memories of playing the sequel, Revenge from Mars. I used to play it at an old pizza shop I used to go to, but this is the remake of the original game. This actually came out in 2017. I don't remember when the original game came out. If anyone knows, let me know in the comments down below. I always thought the aliens inside the machine had such a cool design. I also love how this one's got this spaceship right here, and the drop targets drop down, and you can actually fight the spaceship. And right next to Attack from Mars is another extremely iconic pinball machine. This is everyone's favorite machine right here, the Adams Family. All right, here I go. I'm buying into the hype. I'm playing Adams Family. Like I said, this is my first time playing Adams Family. I've played many, many times before, but I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm buying into the hype of playing this game. Let's see what it's all about. Yeah, I, I don't get it. I mean, 
Maybe it's because I, I just can't stand the Adams Family movie. I know people are gonna hate me in the comments below, but I can't stand the Adams Family movie. So maybe that's why I'm so critical towards the pinball machine. And everyone just loves this thing. It's got some great shots. It's a fun game, but I don't think it's the best pinball ever to exist. But anyways, I'm gonna I, I, enough about the Adams Family. Let's move along to the rest of the convention. There's one game that's quite interesting. <laughs> It's this frozen pinball machine. It looks like it's homemade. A custom game right here. It's in demo mode. So unfortunately, we can't play the frozen pinball machine. I've never seen something like this. I didn't think anybody would have any interest in making a frozen pinball machine, but somebody did it, and I feel like it's going to turn out really cool. I want to see this when it's done. Williams Black Knight, designed by very famous pinball designer, as well as a famous voice actor. You might know him from Mortal Kombat. Steve Ritchie. Apparently he's here at the convention. I want to get a chance to meet him. I have a Black Knight poster in my backpack that I want him to sign, but for now, let's play the game. It's like when the camera comes on, I suck at pinball. I saw this game earlier at the Art of Art pinball booth, but unfortunately it wasn't working. Well, here's a working version of Grand Lizard by Williams. This is a really cool looking game. I've actually never heard of this game before, but it just looks so cool and I want to play it. All right, here we go. Time to suck on camera again. I'm going to make a compilation of how many times you lose. I've literally sucked at every single game today. I just keep draining balls, but I will say, Grand Lizard is a pretty cool game. I like the ramps. You go back there and you shoot the lizard's mouth, man. Knock out all his teeth. Next to Grand Lizard is Ghostbusters, and I love the back glass on Ghostbusters, how it changes colors like that. And just look at the play field. That is one colorful play field, man. Just look at that thing. Here's an interesting find. Gottlieb's Hollywood Heat, but for some reason, it has a Miami Vice back glass on it. Looks like somebody was doing a little customization, but I absolutely love the cabinet art on this. If you know my channel, you know I love the combination of pink and teal. So this machine is like a Ben Lawrence official pinball machine. I gotta get one of these in my house. I just can't get over this artwork, man. I love this machine. I have a Gottlieb machine at home. It's a spring break machine, but it's not as cool as this thing, man. I know Gottlieb has their fair share of problems, but I'll give them this. They do a hell of a good job on their side art. I mean, it's only 1,500 bucks. I could walk out of here with this thing right now. But uh, I think I, I think I got my arcade pretty full at home. I don't really have room for this thing. Although I really, really want to bring it home. I hate, I, I, I suck on camera. I don't know why, I'm, I'm getting stage fright. I don't know what my problem is today, but I am absolutely trash at every single game I play, I promise. In real life, I am way better at pinball anytime, anywhere. Play me in pinball and I'll show you my skills. But right now on the vlog, I suck, I'm trash. I don't know what to tell you. Look, trash down to my skills. I think, I think I'm pretty good. After being in here for a little over an hour, your head starts to hurt after a while. So I think we're gonna go back into the vendor hall. We're gonna go see if the Wonka kids are back and go try to get their autograph. Just before we exit the free play hall, they actually have asteroids and centipedes. The arcade one-up 12-in-1 right here. I have a couple of these machines at home, but I do not have the 12 in one has got a couple games that aren't on the regular Asteroids and Centipedes cabinet. I mean, I have I have this at home pretty much, so I don't need to play this. I just thought it was cool to mention. So we are back in the vendor hall. Looks a little bit more cleared out than it did this morning. So maybe we'll have a chance to look at a few more things while we're in here. But first and foremost, we're going to head back over to the Jersey Jack booth and try to score ourselves some autographs. Hello. What's up, YouTube? <laughs> so I'm Paris Stemmen. I was this guy. A long time ago. Would you like it personalized? So it helps if I do this. Alright, there you go. Uh, have an aged a day. What's that? Have an aged a day. You no, look great. I look exactly the same as I did there, I'm sure. Yes. Signing a poster for Ben, ben Lawrence. Of BenLawrence.com. Yes. Of the, uh, and yeah, it's a pinball show. Look, that's cool. Alright? So uh, now not only am I a Funko Pop final, I'm a pinball game. But it's a good pinball game here. Anyway, hey, thanks for coming. That's awesome. Thank you so much. I, I don't know if that's a Charlie... Uh, it's not Charlie approved? Approved, yeah. <laughs> that's so funny. 
That's something the uh, Oompa Loompas would be cooking up. Right, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Thank exactly. you so much. Probably the coolest meet and greet experience of all time. I've only done a few meet and greets and got celebrity autographs a few times in my life. But that was definitely the best experience. It was awesome getting to talk with Mike TV. We got Mike TV on the vlog. That's some new new Ben Lawrence YouTube status. We just we just upped our status on YouTube by getting Mike TV in the vlog here at the Jersey Jack booth with the cast of the original Willy Wonka. Oh hey, how we doing? Welcome to Fantastic. We have a beautiful brand new Willy Wonka game. We've been working on it about a year and a half. And it really is uh, something kind of spectacular. Beautiful artwork, beautiful uh, graphics. The game action is designed by Pat Lawler and our really great team. And everybody playing that loves it. Uh, young people, older people, really little people. Uh, just a lot of fun. Really great game. Yeah, it looks awesome. production right now and we're delivering them and people are loving it. Awesome. Really cool. It Thank looks you. like a great game. I can't wait it to is. play. It is. Thank you so much. Thank you too. Now that we met the cast and Jersey Jack, I think it's time to finally play this brand new Willy Wonka pinball game. Finally time to play this thing. I've been waiting all day. It's like the big highlight of the convention right here. We're going to play it right now. Again, I'm probably going to suck because I've been sucking all day. So let's see how, how bad I am at, at the new Willy Wonka game. Here we go. Now we're, now we're better. Now we're doing good. say the Wonka game is extremely fun. Great game, but like I've been doing all day, just draining shots. I've been trash all day. I think I'm just tired from walking around. That's going to be my excuse, as I'm tired from walking around and filming. That's why I'm just missing every single shot I go for. But it was great getting to hang out with the cast of the movie. Me and Tresh playing on the new machine. I, I, might, I might have to buy one. I might have to buy one. I love this machine. It's a lot of fun, colorful, and I love the screen as well. It feels good to kind of sit down after walking around this convention all day. We got ourselves some lunch. I almost just lost my lunch. I got chicken fingers. We got two Cokes and a salad. 15 bucks. Lunch prices are here aren't, they're not too bad. So uh, we, get, we got a pretty decent meal for 15 bucks. And like I said, it feels good to sit down for a little bit. Once we finish our lunch, we're going into the VIP room. We're gonna get to go inside the special VIP lounge. And they have a really cool game in there. Something I've been wanting to play for many, many years. I'm finally gonna get to play it. The epic reveal of the VIP lounge. Here it is. And it's, uh, it's nice and air conditioned. Not a lot of people in here. Great place to come and chill out if you're a uh, exclusive VIP member. As you can see, all the other games are very bright and illuminated in here, but there's one dark one sitting in the corner. The only game I wanted to play, one of the reasons I came to Fantastic was to finally play Guns N' Roses, a machine I've wanted to play for a long time. But unfortunately, it is not working. I guess the balls are jammed on it. Right there you can see some of the balls are jammed, but that's the one game, one game I want to play. So if anyone has a Guns N' Roses pinball machine, they want to let me come over and play, Hit me up, we'll leave it in the comments below. But they got both versions of Pirates of the Caribbean, the original Stern one, as well as the New Jersey Jack one. So I think we're gonna be playing some Pirates of the Caribbean again. I covered this machine earlier, but you get a much better view in this pitch black room. You can really see how bright this thing is. Like I said, I covered this, so I think we're gonna go check out the Jersey Jack version of Pirates of the Caribbean right now. This is a game I've wanted to see in person for a really, really long time. The Jersey Jack Pirates. Look at all the features on this. You got the map from the third movie, and it just spins around. You got this little pirate in a barrel that spins. You can even go on top of the Black Pearl, up on the deck of the Black Pearl. That's a cool feature right there. And of course, the iconic Davy Jones chest in the back, just like on this machine. Davy Jones' chest there. You got it on this one as well, but this one has a, has a cracking coming up on the ramp right there. Again, amazing features on this one, and I love the artwork because I'm a huge Pirates of the Caribbean fan. So uh, this is this might be one of my favorite machines. I don't know. I haven't played it yet. Trash is playing it, but but artwork-wise, 
and in features. This one's awesome. Our Lord and Savior, the maintenance man, has arrived to fix Guns and Roses. Please, for the love of God, for the love of Axl Rose, fix that machine. I'm low-key gonna creep and wait for him to be done fixing it. I'm gonna play Houdini in the meantime, pretending I'm playing Houdini. I'm really waiting for Guns and Roses. It's open. I think it's open. Is it, is it good? I don't want to play. I mean, I imagine it's ready to go. So I'm just going to flip and send it and play. Hey, this is my moment, man. I've been waiting my whole life for them, my whole life, but a while. Well, I think that's about it for the VIP lounge. I played Guns N' Roses. I got my fix. I got super excited about it, as you all heard. I'm sure I annoyed the shit out of you, but I am super excited. I got to play this game anyway. Enough talking about it. But uh, yeah, yeah, we're done here in the VIP room. We came, we saw, we chilled out. They got tables set up. They really hook you up with VIP access in here. And like I said, there's really nobody in here. Yeah, there's some, some crowds around the games that everyone's playing multiplayer. No crowds in here. Really, really good experience. If you come out here, fantastic. Pay the extra money. Do the VIP. It's worth it. They got some great games in here. And nobody's in here to bother you. Now we're going to head into the seminar room for an autograph session with famed pinball designer Steve Ritchie. We saw a couple of his machines earlier in the video. Now we're actually going to go meet him and get an autograph. Hey, how's it going? I got these the flyers. Cool. She wants to stand right here and take pictures while I sign it. <laughs> sure. You don't stand in the way. <laughs> okay. I got gold or I got what are you, whatever what would look best. Whatever marker. I'm rude. <laughs> Except the women. I love women. I don't like men. Me too. Pinball shows are great places to meet men. <laughs> There's your opportunity. <laughs> Perfect. The money shot. <laughs> Another great feature of the free play area is you don't only get to play arcade games for free, the pinball machines for free, you get free water, and you know what? For some reason, I'm a big Disney fan, for some reason, it smells like and feels like Disney World in here, and the water tastes exactly the same. So I, I'm living like a Disney World dream right now. Feels like I'm at Epcot Center. Or should I say, it tastes like I'm at Epcot Center with this chlorinated water. It tastes like Splash Mountain. But you know what? It's free, so I'll take it. We got a chance to take a look at Pirates of the Caribbean earlier. Here's an original game by Bally, Black Rose, another pirate-themed game. I love this cannon shot right down the center. That's a really cool ramp. I've never, I've never seen something like that in a pinball machine, just a ramp. It goes right down the center of the game. Now this is a game that's always fascinated me, Black Hole. I always liked it because it had this lower play field. It's just a really cool game. I love the backlash. It's got like sort of a 3D effect. It has that spinning thing in the middle. Just a very, very cool looking game. So I just attempted to record my entire game a Black Hole, but the, the camera wasn't recording, so we're gonna miss out on me failing epically at Black Hole. Do people even say epic fail anymore? That's just, that's old. I, I feel old saying that, but, but forget Black Hole. Well, I think we've seen just about everything here at Pintastic. This was an awesome day, but I think it is finally time to head outside and wrap this video up. But before I forget, we have to attend this next year. It's at a different place, it's at a different location. So I'm gonna take one of these so I don't forget because I had so much fun today. I definitely, definitely plan on coming back next year. Wow, all I can say is wow. That was probably the best anything I've ever been to. They really, really, like I can't stress it enough. They really put on an amazing event here at Pantastic New England. I know I sound like a suck up, but honest to God, that was the best event I've ever been to. We've gone to a couple conventions here on the channel and nothing compares to that. I really wish we got a hotel here in Sturbridge and stayed at the convention every day it was open because the event was so much fun. The location's great. There's a pond right over there. People are jumping in the lake right now. I just, I, I don't, I have, I'm at a loss for words because this was just such an amazing event. We have to do so much. We got interviews with Mike TV. We get to hang out with Jersey Jack. We get to meet Steve Ritchie. And, and it's all included in the price except for the autographs with the Willy Wonka cast. But that was a stellar deal too. It was a hundred bucks. All the autographs, the, the cast that was there, the three cast members, as well as three of the pin designers. I almost, I almost put up four, but three of the pin designers. And you got a group photo with the cast for a hundred bucks. That, that's a deal, that's a deal. And it's like, it's 23 bucks to get in the convention. You really, you really can't beat it. Honestly, 
This is probably the best convention and I highly, highly recommend coming to Pintastic New England next year. It's gonna be at a different location. It's gonna be in Boxborough, Massachusetts, as opposed to Sturbridge next year. They're moving to a different location, but I highly recommend going to Pintastic New England next year. I don't know who they're gonna have for guests next year. This year it was Willy Wonka because the, the pinball machine had just come out. But I mean, this year was amazing, so I feel like next year is gonna be even better. So I definitely look forward to going to Pintastic next year. I hope to see you next year at Pintastic New England. But for right now, I really gotta wrap this video up because I hear live music starting over there and I don't wanna get like a copyright strike and I don't want just loud music blasting into your ears. It's been pretty loud all day being inside that convention. Again, I hope I didn't blast out your eardrums. If you made it this far in the video, let me know in the comments down below. Leave hashtag Pintastic in the comments below. Leave that so I know that you made it all the way to the end. But if you did make it all the way to the end here, I wanna say thank you so much for joining us as we went and checked out Pintastic New England 2019. If you like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. If you wanna support future videos just like this, check out patreon.com slash benlawrence where you can gain access to exclusive behind the scenes bonus features or get yourself a t-shirt over on benlawrence.spreadshirt.com. I wanna thank everyone at Pintastic New England for allowing us to come here and film the event. And if you wanna see more adventures just like this in the future, and hit the subscribe button. I'm gonna make a compilation of how many times you lose. At home. <laughs> <laughs>